you guys are out there just buying these firms like crazy. You know, I talked to a guy yesterday and just constantly buying businesses, 100,000, 400,000. And it's interesting because typically when you buy an accounting firm, tax and accounting firm, you pay about one-time sales. But the problem is most people don't analyze the business. And I had a client come in a few months ago, bought a business, $600,000 in sales, paid 700 for it, so more than 1x revenue. Okay, brings the business in, but the problem is he was new to the industry. Like even though he had a job in accounting, he didn't really know how to analyze the clients, didn't know how to look at, okay, of the 600,000, how much of that's tax? How much of that's accounting? Okay, on the tax side, how many business returns? How many Schedule Cs? How many individual returns? What's the price per business return? Price per Schedule C, price per individual. How much of this is tax planning versus tax prep? Is there any tax resolution? You know, and what really are the size of these businesses? Then going on the accounting side, okay, how many total monthly recurring accounting clients? Okay, what about the price per client? What's the scope? Is this sub-account management, AP and AR? Is it just monthly accounting? Is it controller CFO level work? Like what is the level of service here? Okay, so actually going through and analyzing and how many other services, right? Is there any wealth management in this business? Are there any other consulting services? What is that made up of? And so many times people, the, the people that do the worst are the people that buy a business because they don't know how to get clients. I'm all about buying a business if it's a good deal, right? I have another client, Bought a firm, 500K in sales, bought it for 200K. Great, hey, that's a steal, right? If you're thinking of, or you already bought a business because you don't know how to get clients, that is a problem. That is a very big problem. Because what happens is with this guy that bought the firm for 600K, two years later, that's 600K of bank debt. That is a bank debt loan, okay, that's real debt. Now the business is down to 250,000 in sales. That debt's still there. Okay. The reason is because he didn't know how to get clients. He didn't know how to upsell clients. He didn't know how to repackage clients. He didn't know how to renegotiate clients. He didn't know how to add commissionable services. He didn't know how to have these conversations because he never learned how to do sales or consultations. He just bought the business. And so if you're at a situation where you just bought a business, you don't know how to monetize it, sometimes you, because to be honest, guys, it took me years, years and years and years of figuring out how tax and accounting work for small businesses in America to be able to understand this stuff. I mean, and I worked at a job. I, I mean, I'll tell you right now, working at a job at a big accounting firm, that made me learn a lot of bad habits for how to think about things. The corporate mentality, having a job, being at a big company, it just, it, it doesn't make any sense once you come to the small business market. So I would not have known how to analyze a firm. I would not have known how to buy it. And so if you're in that situation where you just didn't even know, right? Didn't know what you're looking at and you're just like, ah, oh, buy it. And then all of a sudden you realize 50% of my clients are 1040s, that 1040s are paying $200 a year and I can't even monetize these clients because if I double the fees, it's still gonna suck. And what do I do? What do I do at this point? So for those of you guys that either been thinking about starting a business, or thinking about buying a business, paying 1x revenue, generally when we go out and we do active marketing, we're looking to pay 20% of first year sales, maybe less, depending on how we get the client. And so, you know, really, you got to really think, what am I doing here? And sometimes, you know, really it can be a lot less, it be 5% of year one sales when you talk about adding in multiple services, right? If you do a tax plan first, you do monthly accounting after that, you do tax preparation, you do wealth management, it can be a very small percentage of first year sales. As opposed, like I see people come sometimes, I'm like, spend $100,000 on a $100,000 business, it's not even worth it. Just go out and get the $100,000 in revenue yourself. That's only 20 tax plans at 5,000. That's only 8,000 a month, which is four, eight accounting clients at 1,000 a month. I mean, it's not that many human beings. And if you don't feel like 100,000 is accessible to you without spending 100,000, You've got some skills. You need to skill up. You need to skill up in how to get appointments. You need to skill up in how to show the value. You need to skill up in terms of, look, you decided to run this business, okay? If you don't wanna do sales, you don't wanna get clients, great, go back, take a job, right, right? Oh, there's great, there's great opportunities there. I've got amazing people on my team. We're looking for people on our team. So if you're looking for a role, you should go back and do it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And so many people are greater contributors on a team than they would be on their own. But if you've chosen to go out on your own and you're responsible for that, the very first thing at the top of the PL is revenue. And you've got to take care of that. And if you can't get it and you think that's gonna be solved by taking out debt or borrowing money or lumping down a, pl a plot of cash on this business, you got another thing coming. Every interaction with the client is a sale, whether you are acquiring revenue with, from a brand new prospect or you are retaining revenue for something that you already sold or you are upselling the client. Every single interaction is something where you need to approach it from the perspective of, what is sales, guys? What is sales? Sales is about value creation. It's not about getting the money, ah, get the money, ah, get the money. No, it's about creating value for the person. Getting that person to see that value, getting that person to commit to solving that problem and achieving that value with you and paying for it.
So if you don't know how to do sales, it's because you don't know how to do value creation. That's really what sales is at its most fundamental form. So if you've been watching this video this long, I can tell you that at least setting up a time to talk with me and my team would be worth it for you. So we do about 45 minutes consultation. We'll go through and show you our deck. You know, it's hundreds of slides, probably 350 slides at this point of every single thing that we do, how to look at the business, how to look at the different types of clients, what we would do in your situation, who we would upsell versus how we go out and uh, get new clients, who we would renegotiate and reprice. So I'll go ahead and put the application below. You'll talk with me or somebody from my team and I will see you on the other side.